Uh, no, I don't, I don't uh, edit, Mark. Going? Uh, All right, we don't edit. Uh, Uncivilized Vitality. Well, we do, but not always. Uh, Uncivilized Vitality, uh, next one of the boxing series. We're still working on the defensive stuff. I got some partners today. Got Mark helping me uh, and a couple other um, volunteers in a little bit. So we're going to go on with the, the slip slaps and shields, the basic defensive. We're not going to need these today because we have a partner. So um, we talked about briefly in your, in your boxing stance and your partner's up. Mark and I will go conventional so you can see. When you're up like this, uh, I can use the slips. Right, I can slip myself out of the way from the punch. So Mark throws a jab. I just turn my shoulder and I can slip. We wouldn't drop my hand. I just want you to see that. I turn slightly, like maybe on an angle. So he throws a jab. I just twist my shoulder to my opposite hip and I slipped. Right, I wouldn't slip inside because that's where Mark's right hand is and he's going to punch me. Uh, you can do pulls. He throws a jab and just pull back on that rear foot. Don't move the front foot. So I review that other video. Today we're going to talk about slaps, which is the next level in defense. So you'll get a partner, and if you're working at home, your partner has to have uh, gloves on. Um, mostly so you don't, you don't cut your knuckles on their teeth or something if you accidentally do that. Put on some big gloves, uh, big soft gloves, while you're practice, practicing this with your partner. Or uh, just go, like Mark and I are going to do, really, really slow so that everybody can see it. So you can do uh, slips, which is avoiding the force of the punch completely. And that's going to be a lot of footwork and body movement. We'll talk later about long and short rhythms. You see boxers are always moving around. And they're not just moving randomly. There's a whole, uh, there's a whole point to that. Uh, you're trying to have non-rhythmic rhythm. We'll go into that in, in uh, future videos. So uh, slip slaps and shields. Mark's going to throw just simple jabs. Oh, don't throw it yet. He's getting excited. Uh, I'm just going to throw just jabs at my partner, just straight out, just straight on target every time. And one of the things you can do if you can't slip it, you're just going to try to mitigate the force by redirecting a little bit. I just call them slaps or paris. The easiest one is just going to be the jab catch. Mark jabs me right in the face. Bam! It's going to hit right there. I got my two hands here. Go ahead and jab. A lot of that's going to hit my gloves. Mark's not going to throw the jab in my gloves. Mark's going to wait till I've thrown. I'm trying to throw a punch and my, my guard is open. That's when he throws his punches. Right? So when he's throwing the jab, he's trying to find his range. I'm just going to turn my rear hand out. So the palm faces out. Just gonna turn that, comes off my face a little bit and just catches his, uh, catches his jab. It's called a jab catch. He throws a jab, I just catch. Throw a little faster, all right, just like that. Just turn my hand out, all right, just like that. Don't reach for it. Mark knows I'm gonna reach for it. He's gonna swing around and get me with a, a fake jab and a, and a hook or something, right? So don't reach out for it. All I'm doing is turning my glove off my face and just slowing it down. Just a simple jab catch, okay? You're not blocking. This is not karate, karate do. <laughs> right? So throw the punch. Okay, just a little jab catch. The reason I catch that is I'm gonna follow that back with my own jab. I'm gonna follow that back with my own jab. Um, or, go ahead and do it again. Or a right hand over the top. So Mark and I go back and forth and do this jab catch drill. Rear hand, I throw a jab, he just turns his hand out. You're gonna catch, right? And then he throws a jab. I catch, and I throw a jab. Then he kicked. Just like that. Just like that. You can combine your jab catch with moving your head a little bit. Sorry, I'll uh, throw that again. Moving your head a little bit, but don't move too much. Mark might be trying to get me to move my head off to the side with that fake jab so that he can hit me. So that's a simple jab catch. Uh, usually done with the rear hand, so my front hand stays available to uh, return the jab. Never let somebody throw a punch without answering it. You're not a punching bag. Somebody punches at you, you punch back. Uh, that's called uh, F-A-F-O. Um, you know, look that up. Your parents probably know what it means, but this is for everybody, so we'll keep that. Right? A little FAFO. Never leave a punch unanswered. We're working with your partner, though. Uh, he's going to be the feeder, right? So he's going to throw me jabs, and I'm just going to practice not reaching out too far and pawing at it, right? Mark might do a double jab with the first one being a feint, right? And I move my hand down to get it and he hits me. Just turn your hand out. Don't leave it too close to your face because Mark's jab will then hit my glove and drive it into my face, like that. So I put it out with a little bit of, a little bit of force to catch and mitigate that jab, reach out with it, right? right? Just like that, there's a jab. 
Don't push it down too much. You don't need to do that because he's open, go slow. I push it down, I'm wide open for that right hand. Bam, okay, so don't, don't do that. Just turn and catch. Little practice, little practice. And I'm not reaching too far out. Just little jab catches, right? I can jab and return, we'll get to that later. Another slap you can do is gonna be with the rear, or sorry, the lead hand. And this is gonna be using the cuff of my glove or the side of my hand. I'm just gonna cuff it out to the side. Just cuff it, right? Just cuff it. This is especially, I'd cuff on the outside. Just swatting it to the side. And a lot of times this is to open it up so I can throw a punch. This is kind of a really, really old school boxing or dirty boxing, bare knuckle boxing. Come a little closer. So a couple of slaps you can do in boxing, there's not many. A jab catch, right? Or maybe cuffs. Just like that. Just cuff it with your glove. Don't be uh, using that as a defense primarily because Mark's going to throw that out. He might be setting me up so that I can throw a cuff he wants me to with the little feints and reaches. Sometimes I'm doing lazy jabs. I'll jab at you and you keep catching it. I'm just doing lazy jabs and I see, oh, this guy's a, he's not respecting my punch. He's just sort of slapping it out of the way. So I throw one so I can open him up, right? So your partner's just throwing little punches at your forehead, right? Just like that, throwing punches at your forehead and you're going to turn your cuff out every now and then, right? Cuff it out of the way, right? Maybe I cuff it when I step. So slips, Moving out of the way, don't, in, don't um, interact with the force at all. And slaps are gonna be just sort of catches and cuffs. There's many, many more. Uh, the next one we're gonna do, the next video will be about uh, shields. That's it. Uh, oh wait, like, subscribe, share, and make a comment below. Don't make trolly comments. I know this is just basic boxing so people can have fun at home. Um, that's it.